Hello, selling people of the internet. Have I mentioned that I'm a runner? So uh, in this video, I am going to give you an overview of how I made a pair of Learn MYOG's Dias shorts, or Do It All shorts, uh, that I am modifying somewhat to make a pair of running shorts. In uh, about four weeks, I'm going to be making my second attempt to run a 50-mile ultramarathon in the Florida Keys. And since I failed the last time I tried it, I've decided to level up and not only do the run, but try to sew as much of my own gear for the run as possible. So I've already made a hydration vest, uh, and this is the pair of shorts I intend to wear. I'm hoping to make a running shirt, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to make another waist pack uh, just to complement all this new stuff. So uh, anyway, today I'm going to give you an overview of how I made and modified these shorts. This is not a detailed tutorial. Uh, Learn MYOG already has a uh, sew along on his channel. I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested in making a pair of these shorts. Uh, this is the second pair of these that I've made. I made a muslin pair just to try out the pattern and been wearing those around the house for uh, several months now and actually really like them. Um, and I made a pair of pants kind of based on the same pattern. So before I show you any of the assembly of the shorts, uh, let me talk about the materials and I'm already thinking maybe uh, probably could have chosen a little bit differently, but you know, it is what it is. So the exterior material, the body of the shorts is Taslin fabric that I got from Ripstop by the Roll. There's a, an affiliate link in the description if you want to check out their products. Uh, they've got all kinds of great stuff. Um, and this seems like a very good fabric. I'm not sure if it was the right choice for running shorts specifically. I'm not sure if it's breathable enough. I ran about four miles in them yesterday as sort of my first test run in, in the heat of the afternoon. Uh, and they were fine. I'm just not sure if they're the most breathable. But uh, I don't have time to make another pair. So at some point between now and the 50 mile run, I'll have to decide if they're going to work for me or not. Uh, I think for... Paddleboarding, uh, just other general outdoor activities, hiking, you know, the other things I'll tend to be using wearing a pair of shorts like these, they're going to be awesome. Um, if I was going to make another pair of truly dedicated running shorts, uh, then maybe I would try to find something a little bit lighter and a little bit more breathable. I modified this pattern by adding a liner, because I can just pull it out to show you. Uh, most running shorts have an integrated liner, same as like a swimsuit would. The original design of these shorts does not include that, um, and I needed to have that for running for reasons that aren't worth going into. The fabric I chose for the liner and for the pocket bags, I'm trying to show you here, uh, I chose a Polartec fabric, it's called Polartec Delta. I'll put the specifics in the description below. That fabric came from Discovery Fabrics. I recently discovered Discovery Fabrics. They're an awesome supplier of kind of harder to find fabrics that most DIYers aren't going to be able to access. Um, the kind of stuff that big manufacturers use in particularly in athletic wear. They've got a pretty broad selection. So definitely recommend checking them out. There's a link below. If you use that link, the first purchase you make, you get $15 off and they give me a little kickback at no cost to you. So that's uh, good for both of us. So this fabric is designed to not be a quick drying fabric, but rather to retain moisture to maximize uh, evaporative cooling. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work in my environment, but uh, it seemed like something worth trying because uh, heat is the big enemy in the run that I'm gonna be doing in the Florida Keys. So I did that as an experiment. We'll see how that works. Another change I made to the design is I eliminated the back pocket from the design. Uh, there's an option for a welt pocket or a snap pocket, or you can do one on each side or whatever. Uh, I definitely do not need a back pocket for running. If you're a runner, you might even wonder why I have the, the side pockets at all. And, you know, it's just, it's frequent enough that I get to a run, especially like an organized run, and, you know, maybe I need to go register or pick up my packet, and I need to have my car key and maybe my phone on me um, while I'm walking over to, to get my packet. So, and I, when I'm wearing regular running shorts with no pockets, I'm always just fumbling around with all that stuff. So at least this way, while I'm preparing to do a run, I have a place to stash stuff briefly. I'm not gonna run with anything in my pocket. Um, it's not really intended for that. 
And again, I will probably use these shorts for other purposes beyond just running. The way uh, Learn MYOG integrates these pockets where they're, they're sewn, the bottom of the pocket bag is sewn into the hem at the bottom of the leg. So they don't get in the way. You can't tell they're there when you're not using them. So it's a pretty slick design. Anyway, I think that's what you need to know about my design thinking uh, about the shorts. Um, I'll show you some of how I put them together. I guess before I do that, uh, I used the Singer Heavy Duty Machine for almost everything except for the surging. I used a serger, obviously, for the surging. And the thread I use is Guterman Terra 80. Unfortunately, Ripstop by the roll carries this thread, but they didn't carry it in orange, and I wanted orange to match this. So I actually got this from Sailrite, surprisingly. Uh, so if you're looking for different colors, you might try them. Anyway, uh, enjoy seeing a little bit about how I put these together. And if you have not tried making an article of clothing, I think this is a great project to start with. So check out the link to Learn NYG below.
<sighs> okay, I didn't film quite a bit of uh, the last few steps, partly because if you want to see how to make these shorts, you can just watch Learn MYOG's video. Uh, but also, the thing that I'm doing that is very different from his is adding a liner, and I have no idea how to do it. I just was trying to figure it out, and I don't really like filming. A, it's just hard for me to concentrate on filming and doing the thing that I've never done before. Uh, so I, if I'm trying to do something for the first time, I typically don't try to film it. Um, and also, I might, I might have done this completely wrong and in a way that's going to backfire on me at some inopportune time, and you may not know about that until it's too late and you've tried to duplicate it yourself. So what I did was I took a pair of running shorts that I already had, patterned the liner. Uh, I didn't take it apart or anything. I just drew it out on a piece of paper, um, you know, laid it on the piece of paper and traced around it best I could. Did a couple of trial fittings with um, some muslins that I made. Uh, if you want to go to my OnlyFans site, you'll be able to see those images. And um, that's a joke I hope I don't have to say. Um, and then I just sewed it in to the waistband when I folded over the waistband. So I think it will work. Looks pretty good. I'll mention that the material that I'm using for both the, if I haven't mentioned this earlier in the video, for both the liner and for the pocket bags is Polar Tech something. I'll put the text to, to say what it is because I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> it is a fabric that is designed to retain moisture uh, longer, which might sound counterintuitive. So it's not a quick drying fabric. It retains moisture uh, with the intention of maximizing evaporative cooling. And the specific run that I'm making these for is known for being very, very hot. It's also very humid, so I don't know how effective this will be, but I just thought, you know, it might be interesting to try making it, uh, making a liner with a fabric that is uh, supposed to help with cooling. In fact, it specifically says that this fabric shouldn't be used as a base layer in cold climates because it will make you stay cooler. So we'll see. But anyway, uh, that's kind of the advantage of making your own stuff is you can pick and choose stuff like that. All right, so all that talking aside, uh, everything is done except for hemming. So I'm just going to hem these and then these will be ready to test. Hopefully it goes well. So my initial run with these was pretty encouraging. Like I said, maybe it's not the lightest, most breathable material choice, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, I've got to run quite a few more miles before my big run to make sure that they're going to work for me. But anyway, I hope you found something about this entertaining, informative, or useful in some way. If you like this video, clicking like is always helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, you might want to think about doing that. And uh, there's a bunch of affiliate links and other links in the description that you might find helpful too. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. You're just going to hang out right there, are you? Not really sure what that was all about.